If you love me, you will be my in my heart. If you hate me, you will be in my mind. A very very charming and pleasant morning to honorable principal sir, respected vice principal sir, all the administrative holders, and all my school fellow present in this very assembly. We are from Subhas House, presenting a play, Julius Caesar, written by William Shakespeare. First of all. Let's have a introduction of characters. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ashish, and I am playing the role of Julius Caesar. Thank you. A very good morning to the minds of the Roman Republic and rise of the Roman Empire. After winning several wars, he became more powerful and popular. Some people were jealous of his growing power, and they feared that he might become a dictator. Cassius had a conspiracy, conspiracy to murder Caesar. After the assassination of Caesar, one of his friends, Antony, succeeded on motivating people to raise a revolt against Cassius and Brutus. Thank you, and let's have a look of what said. The first scene depicts the argument between Caesar and California, who is Caesar's wife. California tries to stop Caesar from going to Senate as he saw some dreadful omen. Caesar agrees, but his friend Caesar convinces and takes him to the Senate. Three times Calpania cried out in her sleep, Help, hope, the mother of Caesar. What mean you, Caesar? Think it about force? You shall not go out of your house today. I saw some happen in my dream. Calpania, I shall go forth. No danger has ever dared to come to face me. If the dead serve, the plan is to see the face of Caesar. Caesar? I have not been a believer in dreams, but today I am afraid of them. There is a person in the house who describes the dead for child seen by the watchman. A law and a ship go to a person on the street. Give open up to let the ghost out. A terrible fight was fought in the clouds and the ghost fell upon the capital. What can be avoided? Because when she is performed by the mighty God. Caesar. When Vegas dies, there are no common seeds. The heaven themselves blaze. The death of the friends. Calpurnia! Cowards die many times before their death. But the valiant never test of death. But what? Death is the ultimate truth. Alas, my lord, do not go for today. Call it my fear. Okay, I will not go today. Here comes Jesus. Good morning, Almighty Jesus. I came to fetch you to the Senate House. A thousand very happy time this is to be on my greeting to the Senator. Tell them that Caesar will not come today. Go and tell them that Caesar is safe. Shall I stand alive? I fought battles and conquered. Should I be afraid of telling the truth to the old Senator? Caesar, go and tell them that Caesar will not come today. Most likely Caesar. Let me know some cause. For that, I'm not laughed at by them. Calpurnia saw my statue in her dream. It's like a fountain with hundred spouts, blood gushing out from me to mouth. Romans are smiling and bathing their hands in me. This dream is all a misinterpreted. It was a vision, fair and fortunate. Your statue spouting blood and many pipes in which many smiling Romans bathe their hands. Signify that from you great rooms shall suck the reviving blood, and great man shall pass for thinkers, relics, and cottages. That's what by Calpurnia's dream signifies. The Senate has concluded to give you a crown to date, and if you don't go to receive it, your minds will change. This is your interpretation of Calpurnia's dream. 
Team satisfactory. Uh, Maria, I'm pretty sure we are seen now. I'm a fan to have some meter to them. Go, get my rope. Power and go. Thank you. Various courtiers and all the members of Senate, IAC Senate House, Mitalis Kimber requested Caesar to forgive his brother, who was exiled from the country. Brutus also requested Caesar to do so, but Caesar denied. And finally, all the members who were with cashiers took out their daggers and killed Caesar. Caesar was surprised to see that one of his loyal friends, Brutus, also stabbed him. They send a people. They send a message to the people of Rome that they have succeeded on the ending of tyranny and ensuring freedom for the people of Rome. Then Antony arrived. He took permission from the Cassius to show the dead body of Caesar in the marketplace. They agreed, but there is a condition, and that is Brutus will speak first, then Antony. And Antony agreed. Thank you and enjoy the scene. Most noble, most majestic, most powerful, Caesar. I must prevent this Kimba. These slowly and cruising people by the blood of ordinary men. Your brother has been exiled justly and legally. Now, if you beg for his pardon, I shall kick you. I kiss your hands and request you to cancel the order of Kimba's management and allow him to return to his country. What are you doing? Have you also joined them in their request? Pardon, Caesar. Caesar, pardon. What you all have done are all your glories, conquests, triumphs, falls, shrunk to dismissal. I don't know why you murdered Caesar. What are your intentions? How Caesar was dangerous to Rome. As a friend of Caesar, 
प्लीज अलाउ मी टू सो सी दस बॉडी इन द मार्केट प्लेस एंड मेक अ फ्यूनरल स्पीच फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट एस यू शैल हैव आर परमिशन टू डू दैट यू डोंट रियलाइज व्हाट आर यू डूइंग डोंट ग्रांट दी रिक्वेस्ट एंड टोन इट स्पीच मे इनसाइड पीपल ओके आई विल अलाउ द पीपल फर्स्ट देन आई विल स्पीक आई विल जस्टिफाई दिस एज मदर and you mark anthony you will not speak a word against us and will support us take the most body to the market place okay Yes! 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 Yes!
and get huge anthem for their release. The Kishore star Kishore was ambitious, but Gurta says he was ambitious. And Gurta is an honorable man. When a poor guy is a web, ambition should be made from stellar stuff. Yet Gurta says he was ambitious. And Gurta is an honorable man. He refused three times when he was offered crown. But yet thus he says that Kishore was ambitious. But Gurta says he was ambitious. And Buddha is an honorable man. There is much reason in his saying. I say, tell me the boss, somebody say. So tell me, Caesar was not ambitious. Yesterday, Caesar's word was law on the whole world. But today, he is lying dead here. I found some documents on the study room of Caesar. It is Caesar's will. And if you hear the bell, you will keep his palms and keep his hair as a memory. Give me your name. Give me your name. As present friends, I must not read it. It's not proper that you all should know how mean she's allowed you. Read the bell. Read the bell. They will tell us what else read the bell. If you compel me then to make the bell, then make a ring around the body of scissors. Have a look. Right here, the cascade step first. And right on this face, Cassius Drago was placed. And here. His will of Buddha step. And now, here's the will. He has left 35 black marks to all citizens of Rome. Listen to me with patience. He has left to you and to your children forever all his private study house and new plant orchard at the bank of paper. Never ever, never ever. ever. Where is that? Now Caesar will come. I don't know. We will burn the Caesar's body on the holy place and take some of the burning sticks to set up the fire for the traitor's houses. Go! Fit! Fire! Slap down! Benches! Slap down! Fall! Fit! All the anything! Now let the person that I put on their minds now work. It may take any form as it likes. Thank you. The architecture of this drama is to hear sir, assist by Divya Man. Thank you to watching our drama. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>